Hello everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Currently we're in the process of cleaning up the interior of my 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe and um, we've got a little issue with the subwoofer. It's rattling and I guess that's kind of a common problem with these Dodge Vipers, the third gens and I believe fourth gen is the same, same setup. Today I'm going to show you how to remove that subwoofer there remove the trim panels around it, remove the subwoofer, and we're gonna fix the vibration, whatever it is that's rattling inside there. I believe the speaker is good, and that seems to be the case with a lot of these, but I guess there's a baffle on the inside that falls off and kind of rattles around. So um, we're gonna get that thing out of there, and we're gonna open it up and see what we can do to fix it. So first things first, what I did, um, like I said, I've been cleaning the interior of this car. I'm putting new seats in it, so I did pull out both the passenger and driver's side seat and the center console. I'm working on a few other things. If you need help with those things, check out my other video um, of remove the seats and replacing that lower shift boot there. But that's gonna make it a lot easier to get this panel out of here in order to get to the, uh, the subwoofer box that holds it there. So it's four 15 millimeter bolts. Uh, two nuts in the back and two bolts in the front on each seat that holds them in along with one little plug from there We have uh, a series of screws. We have Two screws one on each side of the center console there. You don't have to remove the console to get to this But there's two screws that hold it to the console So I already have those out the next step we're gonna do is remove these upper trim pieces here. They go There's a screw up here right there behind the weather strip there's also a clip on the back side of this right here. We'll use our plastic trim pieces to pry that apart. And then uh, there's probably a few more, you know, in between here. And then we also have one of the push pin kind of rivets right here. So we'll push those out and see if we can get these panels out of here, these upper panels. And uh, then to remove this, we have uh, these little knobs come off here. And there are, I believe, two more screws. There's a screw here, and I believe there's also a screw underneath this door plate right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by removing those upper trim pieces. While I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this screw as well. And then we have another screw right here. So this door sill right here snaps out with three clips, one here, one here, and one here, and it pulls directly up. Start at the back. And work your way forward. Then we've got a screw right here. Screw right here. And the upper screw in the trim piece right up here. We'll pull all three of those out. So now you can see that there is a little trim clip right there. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this panel gently off of this panel. We'll try not to break any clips. All right, so that clip is out. And we have a push pin rivet right here. You just push it in. Comes out just like that. So we have the three clips right here that hold the trim piece on in the front of the car. And then there's that rivet right there, and there's Velcro in the back that hold it right here. So now that we got this side out, we'll take out the other side, and then we can get to that big piece. And again, a push rivet here, and Velcro right here. And there we go. Now to start with the back panel, we're gonna remove these two 
little nuts right here. Set those aside. Work that off of there, off the studs. Carefully. And we'll work our seat belts behind the trim piece here. Just so they're out of the way. Pick that up. All right, so now that everything's loose, we should be able to remove this whole panel. Slowly work it up there without hooking the headliner. We've got our speakers up under here that need to be disconnected. And now we'll very carefully get the panel out of the car. Here's what it looks like with the panel out of the car. And um, now's a good time. If you have one of your seat belts that's kind of twisted like that, see it gets up over this bar right here and it kind of twists and it makes it backwards. So just double check your seat belts while you have it off. Makes it more comfortable. And just to make it sit on your right while you're buckled in. Now it looks like we have three bolts that hold the subwoofer in here. So, and one little clip right here. And it looks like our size is a 13 millimeter socket. All right, so this is a subwoofer box. Before I pulled it out, I actually, uh, I turned out the radio and I turned out the bass and I just kind of wanted to see where it was rattling at. I left it plugged in. And if you mess with this, uh, if you mess with this port right here and kind of hold pressure up against it or push it, the rattling goes away. So that tells me it's definitely something to do with this, uh, this port right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull the subwoofer out. There's four Phillips head screws that hold it on. And I'm gonna be careful not to mess up this, uh, this foam disc right here. After the four screws, there's also an Allen bolt on the back side of the speaker here, underneath this little foam pad. It is a four millimeter. And now our speaker should just come right out. I'm gonna peel this tape up out of the way over here so I can set the speaker aside. And then you can see here is our baffle that is rattling against the speaker. So you can see all this foam is kind of deteriorated. The car is 14 years old, so that happens. We're gonna pull what we can out of there. It's just kind of like tar in there. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna cut this blue filter media and kind of work it in around this tube here because you can see how it rattles. And just to provide it some, some cushion so it doesn't rattle. And we still want the baffle in there.
All right, so I'm not sure if you can see that, but I did end up packing about four pieces of this around that tube and uh, tube is not gonna rattle anymore. I'm gonna cut this piece in half and put it kind of around the bottom down here just to see if we can't keep a little more uh, vibration dampening in there and uh, we'll see if it works. back together we'll go ahead hook it up in the car and we'll see if it fixed our problem all right so everything hooked up speaker is mounted bolts are tight and it's hooked up and it sounds awesome, sounds a hundred times better than it did. There's about a hundred different ways you can do this. You can replace the speaker, you can get a different box I've seen, you can make a new box, you can make a custom enclosure, you can do all kinds of different things. You could probably even remove that baffle. Rather than putting that filter material in there that I put in there, you could put foam in there, you could probably do, I would probably not do great stuff, but you could do um, some kind of silicone. There's about a hundred different ways you could do this. With that being said, if you have a rattle in your car and it's coming from your subwoofer, it's probably that baffle tube right there. So easy fix. The way I did it right here, it cost me probably 20 cents. This is just a piece of filter media that I got from Home Depot. I had it for something else and uh, it just happened to be laying around. So I used it and it worked out great. So like I said, there's a hundred different ways you could do this but this is the way that I did it and this is the way that worked for me. I would definitely recommend removing the seats if you're to do this just because that panel is so big and I would say hard to get out. I don't even know if you could get it out without the seats being out of there, but they're really easy to take out four bolts like I said or two nuts, two bolts on each seat and they come right out with a, a wire connector right there too. So, and it gives you an opportunity to clean all your carpet underneath, uh, underneath your seats all the crap that's been sitting there for who knows how long. You can uh, find a bunch of coins and throw them in your piggy bank and you can actually make money doing this. So now we're gonna go ahead, throw the interior back together and uh, it will be good to go. came out absolutely awesome it looks great I even got the dust wiped off on the back side of all those panels and uh, got everything all vacuumed up too and that's just how I like it everything nice and clean from inside out underneath all the panels and it looks amazing vacuumed everything and cleaned everything up so thanks for watching the video I hope you learned something I hope this helps somebody out with some issues they're having with their subwoofer in their uh, third to fourth gen Dodge Viper uh, if you did learn something Please go ahead, throw a comment down below, subscribe. If you got any other ideas, any better methods on doing this, put a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.